Well, on most Friday and Saturday nights, you'll find local magician Chris Rose performing for tables of fine diners. But this past April, Rose pulled off a trick that made two of the kings of magic sit up and take notice. Penn and Teller challenged the superstar to fool them, and guess what? They did. As Herbie jumps, right into your hand, open your hand, check it out. Ever since Chris Rose was a kid, he's been doing magic. I've been doing this as my sole profession since 1997. And that's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jumping in anytime now. We'll have some more fun. Thousands of tricks, thousands of routines. Did you find it? <laughs> I found it. With what I have on me right now, I mean, I can perform for two hours straight, not repeat anything. <laughs> not here. <laughs> there. Magic creates a memory uh, unlike any other. And that's Chris's goal every time he sits down at a table and sparks our interest in all things magic. They may not remember my name, but they do remember the experience. And fortunately for Chris, producers for a new TV show featuring the best magicians from around the country did remember the name Chris Rose. However, they had heard that there was another magician by the name of Chris Rose, and so they looked me up. And they apparently liked what they saw and they reached out. In a moment of sheer serendipity, all the cards in Chris's hand turned to aces. He was going to get his shot on a national show starring two of the legendary masters in the world of magic, none other than Penn and Teller. Chris says the magnitude of the situation hit him about the same time he was introduced. I took the time to, to kind of just look around the audience and then I saw Pe Penn and Teller and and then I just kept on going because I was like, oh, no, don't look at him. In no time, though, the professional entertainer was warmed up. <laughs> Chris had perfected a trick which involved eating an Oreo cookie, followed by drinking a cold glass of milk, <laughs> and then magically making them reappear. Oh, yeah, with Teller standing right there next to him. Okay, this guy's watching every single move I make. Um, not something that I'm used to. The guys went back and forth trying to figure out how he did it, but in the end, Penn Gillette could only say, Okay, then you fooled us, man. <laughs> Never in a million years did I actually expect to fool them. So, yeah, came as a really big shock.